Welcome back to Annihilation Nation. All right, so uh, what I want to do in this episode is go and get. Let's see, what, what kind of charge it, beam combos do I have right now? Uh, let's see. Uh, is it arm cannon? No, it's missiles, right? Secondary items. Beam combo. All right, so I have. I have. Okay. Super Missile, Wave Buster, Flamethrower, and that's it. Okay, so, I, so I'm going to go Magmoor and get the thing. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to head on back to... You know what, this let's play has been nothing but boring this whole time. Yo, yo, I need my partner. What up? <laughs> all right, all right. Let's do this for real. Yes. Let's start this let's play right. Or finish it right. Finish it right. <laughs> play the last last bit of this game Man, right up. I haven't seen this game in so long. Yeah. It looks good. Yeah, I know. It still holds up. That's what I, right. one thing I really love about it. I want to start it over. Let's just start from scratch, man. <laughs> <laughs> we can't we can't do that because uh yeah it's just it's, it's almost over <laughs> all right uh this is the plasma beam it's it's uh it's the f kind of a fire thing in this game uh let's see what uh where's that going Magmore? this is like the last little area yeah so this is uh, my buddy Drew McDeezy. Yeah, yeah. What's up? <laughs> We've known each other quite a while. I've known him his whole life. He's only known me half my life, so I got the upper hand there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I need to get to this room, which means I need to go to the ice world, which means I need to go this way. Which way is this? Elevator. There's the elevator. Okay, I go that way. So I just went backwards. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> Man, it's gonna take me a minute to get used to the controls. Again. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. And, one, on the next one. Yeah, and this one it's not it's not even GameCube controls. It's uh, Wii controls. So you have to point to to Wait, move. Wait, the GameCube next one? Uh, so this is the trilogy, which is all the games remastered with Wii graphics, which isn't much of an upgrade, but. <laughs> But it's also got uh, motion controls, which are which feel a lot smoother than the GameCube controls uh, generally. I do uh, like to have a controller in my hand when I play, though. But uh, I do Me like too. the the Wii Motes still great. Well, we play the second one, which one we got? Well, for the HD graphics, I think we should go with the trilogy version. Okay, so just use some. Yeah, and also it's got uh, it's got the aspect ratio is is widescreen instead of. Uh, um, Square, <laughs> sixteen by nine, because mm. it used to be four by three. I'm pretty sure. It's nice falling in the water doesn't kill you. Yeah, yeah. You know. In the first few, yeah, in the first minutes of the game, yeah, it does it does kill you? Uh, huh? It's like a radioactive sludge or something. Yeah, yeah. It's like <laughs> acid or whatever, because yeah, you know, the. Hey man, this game. Yeah, for real. Yeah, like the I, I was watching a video and it was saying the reason that these games still hold up to today is because instead of using textures, a lot of times they just modeled the landscape. Oh, really? So like the walls are models. Just and completely. Like they didn't draw a crack on the wall; they actually made a crack in the wall. See. Mm -hmm. So like they do that everywhere, and it it holds up through the years. It makes it look really nice. That's what's up. Uh, let see, okay. So, gotta go to the fire world before I can go to the ice world, because that's how the map is laid out, but yeah. Yeah, I remember playing this, like, the map was just, it just seems so confusing. <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Like, like, you get to the ruins, and then you're like, what now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's see, I, I could probably just... Uh, traverse this world because I'm coming back here anyway. Uh, so I don't need to go to the ice world. 
What planet are we on? Talon 4 is the name of it. Talon 4? Tal- yeah, T A L L O N 4. I- or I V, if you will. <laughs> we'll need an IV after I'm done with this game. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> need to rehydrate. Let's see. Yeah, forget the story. Yeah, well, the story is basically distress signal. Whoops, it was space pirates. You saw Ridley. Now you're chasing him to the planet, <laughs> and then you you uncover this whole like the stuff inside the planet, which is. Are oh, you chasing Ridley to the planet? Uh, yeah, yeah. He like he left. Yeah, he he fled from the space station that was like giving a distress signal. Oh gosh. Oh nice. What's Samus's beef? Uh he killed her parents, I uh I think that's the general Really? Oh, the heck? general thing. It's like it's like a Batman story basically. That's messed up. <laughs> Dang you. It's really? like it's like a space pirate raid or something on her town or something like that. He, and then I think the the lore is that Ridley killed her parents and then she was raised by bird people. <laughs> Your typical superhero, you know. <laughs> Wait, you're talking about Ridley the, like, dragon? Yeah, the dragon guy. Okay. Not Ridley Scott, the film director. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, like, it was a space pirate, Ray? And yeah, yeah, Ridley, Ridley is a space pirate. Oh, He's, like, a member cool. of the, whatever, space pirate core or I whatever. I Ridley was that, like, like... Intelligent, yeah. Yeah, intelligent, so conscious or something like that. Yeah. I guess it's conscious. I guess I, it might have been that they, they used him right up until they... Turned him. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm reading too much into it. But maybe because in this game he's like a cybernetically enhanced version of himself. So maybe he had a mind once they did that. Hmm. But then it wouldn't. I guess it wouldn't match up to um, the storyline of him going and killing her parents. But maybe it, it's like they were using Ridley to kill yeah, the parents. That could be. That's just speculation, though. <laughs> and for that, you will burn. Yeah. That's a cool, cool gun. Does that track? That uh, the ice it? beam does not track. Uh, oh, dude, I do w against those guys. I do prefer to use the the, the this thing because one charge shot just kills them instantly, mm -hmm. instead of having to shoot like shoot them twice. So you like have to freeze them then shoot them with a missile to explode their frozen body. Let's see, which way am I going? Towards... Where you gotta get to? Ah, uh, there. So, okay, so I am facing this way, so I need to go to the right bottom. Okay. See, so that's what I mean by, like, it being so kind of... Yeah. Kind of hard to read sometimes. Yeah, also the map, I was saying talking about it earlier, but the map is isometric, like the perspective, it's... it's so like you, can, you, can you can't tell what's up and what's down sometimes. So like, look at oh, look yeah. at this. Look at this. Can you tell where's what now? What? Huh? Yeah, you gotta. Look. It takes some time to actually like look at the map. So wait. Oh, oh my. I just I already did it to myself. Wait. You too, wait. Man. Wait. That's right. Just go straight. Wait. Oh my gosh. You're trying to. I'm trying to figure out which way's up. Okay. <laughs> Oh, is this it? Okay, hold on. Bomb. Dang. Do I have it? Yes! Okay. What's that? The final upgrade in the game. Pretty sure. Oh, snap! So this th this is like an op one of those optional upgrades. Ice spreader. Ice spreader. So it makes it so that... So you, you can do a super missile by... Uh, let's see. You can do a super missile by charging up and then hitting the missile button, and it shoots like a more powerful missile that like takes up five of your ammo. <laughs> oh, and yeah. so the ice version of that is like an ice super missile where it like it spreads on the walls and stuff. Yeah. And so like if you got a, if you got a hot enemy, you just use that on them and they're dead. Uh -huh. And so that comes in handy for the final battle, which you have right. to use you have to use all of your all of your weapons for that. And so when you need the ice weapon, it's good to use the the missile version of it. Mm -hmm. How do you think you're gonna do on the final battle? Uh, it's pretty it. hard actually. Sometimes. Think you can do it just one? Nope. 
Uh, one and done? Yeah. I don't know. Pro uh, I, this is on hard mode, I think. Is it? I'm pretty sure. So, we'll see. <laughs> I wonder if you can use the ice spreader for those turrets. Like up there against the wall. Just and shut them down or something. Which turret? Oh, the, uh, the ones on the top? Yeah. Yeah, you can do it with some of them uh, when you can... Let's see. Just with the regular beam. Keep so you can shoot. be like... Boom. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I just love this game. <laughs> they, they put in all those little details like you can freeze those things, you know? Yeah. That's what makes, you know, makes games. Little details like that. Yeah. Okay, so is this... This can bring me to where the final boss is. Ridley. Ridley. She's ascending so fast. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She's a strong, independent woman. <laughs> she don't need no man. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I N D E. I've never seen that door. Well, yeah, I have, but I've never been through that door in this playthrough. <laughs> this red door here. It might lead to something very useful or something that I could have ignored. Do you already know what it leads to? No. It, it's either like energy tank or like missile or like power bomb. Actually, I do need a lot of power bombs. He was like, I'm ready. Yeah, he's ready. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, okay, let's, see, let's put my spikes down now. Oh. Yeah, those things only die with missiles. That? that thing just disintegrated in there front of me. no more. <laughs> that's, that's a really cool thing about this weapon. Let's see. Oh, I know this trick to this. You gotta switch over to that. Yeah, platforms appear. Also, you could, if you notice, you could see the rain oh, dripping yeah. on them, and kind of predict where they are. What is the vision that you're using right there for the X-ray vision? Is what it's called. Oh, I see. Okay. It's different from Super Metroid, where it, in Super Metroid it kind of revealed things in the walls and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like where, yeah, but this one kind of reveals invisible things. Hey, nice. Nice. Okay. Can always get more missiles. Oh, this is a bunch of leaves too. That's cool. That you right. wouldn't you wouldn't have noticed. Yeah. Uh, okay. Double jump. Okay. Yeah, she has pretty good range on her jumps. Jump. Yeah. Yeah, I like uh this, that. <laughs> so you have fifty-seven out of one hundred and twenty missiles right now. Yeah. Or that's my ammo counter. Yeah. Okay, so I just go straight from here. Oh, no. <laughs> kind of trick shot that door. Yeah. <laughs> Brutal. Sorry, buddy. All right. On to face. And that guy was just minding his business, <laughs> going for a nice afternoon stroll. He's like, I'm gonna look for some more nuts on the ground and berries and stuff. Had a family. See if there's any dead bugs I can eat. Just thinking about picking some flowers for his wife. <laughs> Here comes Samus. <laughs> Get him out face, vermin. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> <laughs> That's how new games are created. He just came in there, wiped out his entire family, and sold up the next Spike Man. Spike Man, the video game. What is it? What was the name of that thing? Spike Slug. Sp uh, gamers, I think is their their NES name. Gamers. Gamers. <laughs> I'm a gamer. <laughs> Hardcore gamer. I'm a goofy gamer, yeah. <laughs> You're a goofy gamer, yeah. 
<laughs> oh. Yeah, there was a game where you play as a Goomba and you have to kill Mario. I don't know what. Uh, it's like a Flash game. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Did you jump or anything, or were you just stuck? Yeah, you, you have to like maneuver yourself to where when he jumps, he misses and he, he like gets killed by you. Oh. Okay, here we go. We got all the, all the little, all the yeah, little you look keys. Tight right now. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, you get the the final suit, and it's like you look so decked out. <laughs> mm -hmm. You got like this aura. Yeah. Glowing a bit. Yeah, I have yeah, I have no clue what that upgrade even is referring to, <laughs> like the the glowing shield around you. Or this temple. Cool. Yeah, I think this is like a really serene place. And then here comes the final boss. Well, not the final boss, but the 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 entryway to the final boss boss. <laughs> Was this like Meta Ridley? Yeah, Meta Meta Ridley, like Meta <laughs> Meta Knight, Meta Ridley. I don't know. He's like, this is. It's like, there's two Ridleys. One's a mechanical one, and one's a regular. Yeah, I think game. it's like the timeline is like when they cybernetically enhance him. Oh okay. That's what I was saying because like he he might have a more of a mind now, or something like that. Yeah. And so now, yeah. Oh my gosh! What's this, uh, like strafing you're doing? How you doing? Um, so I'm moving left and right and jumping. Oh, it makes you, like. Let, let you do, do, like, a kind of short jump kind of thing. Oh, okay, that's nice. Oh, dude. This boss fight takes a while. Cause, cause he's just always like out in the distance, like. I don't know. You got him down a good fifteen percent or something. Yeah. Oh gosh. He's dropping bombs. So you have multiple health bars. No, just one. All right. Where's he at? Oh, there. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Does he have like a weak point at all? Uh, I it think it's like chest? his chest right there, yeah. yeah. Okay. Alright, so now we're going down to melee combat. Oh, or not. <laughs> There's it. Yeah. <laughs> Out of here. Oh. Oh. Alright, making my rounds again. <laughs> There's a point where I burn off his wings, I think. Just Dude, if there was like a speedrunner that could like time oh, the yeah. shot to where when he's diving by he like hits his chest. Just had the perfect shot. <laughs> Did I do it? I don't know. When do you hit to lock on? Uh Z. Oh, yeah. All right. Now he's making his rounds. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, so late. <laughs> Dude, if there's bullet time in this game, that would be cool. That would be crazy. No. <laughs> Way off. All right. So he's probably going to show up. There's this. That's his pattern. He's about halfway down. Yeah, he's almost. Get! <laughs> Said I am out of here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Come man. on. Come on. Did I. Did I kill I his know. wings yet? <laughs> Don't look like it. He just jumped off. Come on. Go, Missile. Find your mark. <laughs> <laughs> the Missile's like, I got him! Did the Missile hit me? <laughs> That'd be crazy if he, like, 
If there's a boss that could like outmaneuver your missiles to come back at you. Yeah, just like until or something. Or I mean, like just fly around. You know how they how oh, you, yeah. it's you, it's you the player sometimes does that to enemies in games. But like, what if the enemy did that to where like you shot a homing homing attack mm. and it just like came right back? Come on now, come on now, really. Stop playing now. Oh, you mad. <laughs> Dude, he's, his neck is made of pipes and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Should I catch him in the Shoot mouth? him in his mouth, yeah. And then oh, shoot him here. Go. Yeah. Yeah, because he can't, he can't fly anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Take that sucker. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I think they made it so that it's harder to do damage to him now that he's on the ground. Like his, oh, yeah, his health definitely. bar goes down slower. It does. Just for dramatic effect. Yeah. Come on. But he didn't even put a dent in my health yet. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. Hopefully you can get more, um, what is it, health? Yeah, E-Tanks. Yeah. Tanks. Yeah, I think it's just like that one row, right? For this game, whole game. Oh, man. Shoot. You tell me. I think so, too. Pretty sure. I mean, that's all Because it's like, the, this is like the end of the game, right? There might be space for like one more or two more. Yeah, f space for one, one or two more, yeah. Because you see like it's not fully yeah. at the edge of that that bar there. Just <laughs> yeah. This stuff goes down so much slower. Yeah, like this, it's crazy. On this stage, this phase. Yeah. Oh, he opened his mouth. <laughs> oh, he was just trying to say something to you. He's like. <gasps> I don't need it. <laughs> I don't need it. <laughs> Alright, come on. Oh, gosh. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Okay. <laughs> Tell me a new story. Oh, do I got him? You were able to, like, catch him before he, like, gets. Oh, probably. But the plasma's been doing all right, right? Yeah. Oh, that's not that's not a good one. Yes. Taste the fire. Oh, dude, he's got my health down. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, he's dead. That went smoothly. Hmm. It's like, like you have done. you have fulfilled the prophecy. <laughs> you have failed. <laughs> Be thou removed. <laughs> Be thou removed. Yeah. Mm. We shall bless you. <laughs> Who are these guys? It was like the dead Chozo or whatever. A dead Chozo. Yeah. Uh, those the Chozo is the name of the race of bird people. Oh. They did 
did not look anything like Ridley or Ben Ridley. Yeah, because I don't think Ridley's a Chozo. Oh. That makes sense. <laughs> He's so more of a dragon. People. Yeah. Wait, like is this a, is there a save room? Yeah. Okay, belly of the beast. Let's see. Next time on Anomalation Nation. All right, see.